Hello everyone, welcome back to Easy Neuro channel. Today we will be learning about the different types of glial cells in the brain. So let's start with the definition of glial cells. So what are glial cells basically? So glial cells are non-neuronal cells located in the central and peripheral nervous systems and act as supporting cells. Okay, so these type of cells are present in the whole nervous system in both the central and peripheral nervous systems and they basically act as the supporting cells in the brain and the spinal cord. Okay, and also the rest of the peripheral nervous system. So the main functions of the glial cells are firstly to support and protect the neurons. They help also in neuronal insulation and communication and also in nutrient and waste transport and etc. So these are some of the basic functions of the glial cells in the nervous system. First important is to that they protect the neurons against damage, against any kind of um, pathogens, infection. So they also help in neuronal communication and insulation. So the myelin sheath which surrounds the neurons is actually made by the glial cells. So a particular type of glial cells make the myelin sheath which helps in proper communication uh, and neuronal signaling. Okay. Apart from that, they also help in the transport of nutrients and waste. Okay, so these are some of the basic functions of the glial cells. Also, each type of glial cell has its own main function as well, which we will discuss later on. And apart from that, the glial cells are also known as the neuroglia cells. Okay, now let's come to the different types of glial cells in the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. Okay. So neuroglia in the central nervous system, that is the CNS and the neuroglia in the peripheral nervous system, that is the PNS, okay? So in the central nervous system, there are four types of glial cells. Firstly, we have the astrocytes, okay, astrocytes, then we have the oligodendrocytes, okay, and oligodendrocytes are the glial cells in the central nervous system which also form the myelin sheath of the central nervous system neurons, okay. The next type of glial cell are the ependymal cells and the last one are the microglia okay small types of glial cells very important these are called the microglia all right coming to the neuroglia in the peripheral nervous system there are two types so first is the schwann cells okay Schwann cells, okay, and these glial cells form the myelin sheath in the neurons of the peripheral nervous system, okay. So, important cells to form the myelin sheath in the peripheral nervous system, and the second type of glial cell over here is the satellite cells, okay. So these are the two types of glial cells in the peripheral nervous system and these there are four types of glial cells in the central nervous system. So in the next videos we will discuss what are the functions of these different types of glial cells in the central and the peripheral nervous system. So we will look much deeper into that. Till then, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.